going on, everyone? My name's Bad Arson. We're here for the week two of the UCL. Coming off a loss last week against the St. Louis Rampartos, we are now going to go up against the Bronx Baratics. Now, I said last week we had the hardest two weeks out of anyone in the league, and I was not, I was not joking when I said that. Joey is probably, in many people's eyes, the favorite uh, in this league. Uh, and I'm pretty nervous going up against him. Uh, we're gonna have a look at our Pokemon first to see what we're working with here. So first off, of course we have our Mega Venusaur. Now we have names on them. Tree Rex here with Synthesis, uh, Synthesis, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Sleep Powder. Holding the Venusaur right. We have Clamps, who I didn't think anyone would see, uh, see this guy coming. <laughs> we have Arm Armaldo here with Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, X Scissor, and Stone Edge. We have Lancer here, uh, our Slowbro, with Scald, uh, Slack Off, Thunder Wave, and Psy Shock. We have Bird Dude, our Choice Scarf Star Raptor with Brave Bird, Double Edge, Close Combat, and U-Turn. We have Dognate here, our Choice Bandit Arcanine with Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Crunch, and Wild Charge. And we have Magnemate here, our Aerial Light Magneton with the Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Hidden Power. So that is the team. That is what we are working with here. I want to change the music up this time. I don't know which one is which, so I just, I'm just going to choose Music 4. I don't know what one it is. <laughs> so, we're going to have a look at this team. I'm, I'm nervous for this one, guys. I'm nervous. So, all right, we're going to take a picture of his team, of course. All right, this is not what I expected at all. I did not expect this to come. All right, I, I didn't prepare for this at all. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> anyway, we have Ridiculous, Manaphy, Rhydon, uh, Excelgor, a Dugtrio, and Tornadus T. So, um, look at this team here. Uh, we have a lot of... Yeah, we have a lot of threats here. Uh, we have a lot of bulk. Um, there's a little bit of a, a, a grass weakness here going on. We've got two resistances there. Now, what does he think I'm going to lead with? Maybe the Armaldo because of Stealth Rocks. Um, does he have a spinner? I don't know if... I don't... Maybe Dugtree? I don't know. I don't... I, he has a Defogger, obviously, in the um, Tornado's T, which makes me think that it's not a, a Salt Vest right off the bat. But um, I feel... I feel, I feel, I feel like... Um... I feel like Bird Dude isn't too bad of a start right here. So I'm going to lead up with Bird Dude. I'm not going to lead up with Clamps. Um, this Manaphy is a huge worry to me. I knew he was going to bring the Manaphy. I really thought he was going to bring Weavile, though. Honestly, the Weavile is amazing against my uh, defensive core, which is Slowbro and Venusaur. But I, I, I didn't think he was... Uh, fine. All right. All right. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Let's go. Uh, first thing I want to say is... If you are coming from Joey's channel to see my perspective on this, I am not a super amazing competitive battler, like he is. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try my absolute best here. He is going to lead off with his Acelgore. Now, I don't know what Acelgores really do. I honestly did not think he was going to bring that. Uh, so, he got the element of the sur surprise on me there. So, we're going to have a look. See, it is obviously incredibly speedy. I'm assuming that we could still outspeed it uh, with our Choice Scarf. But, uh, okay, so usually I guess they run Focus Sash. I kind of want to U-turn. I kind of want to U-turn because obviously, right off the bat, if I just go for Brave Bird there, um, that could be a problem. And if he goes into the Rhydon, it's going to do absolutely nothing. So I'm going to first turn U-turn. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's do it. Let's do it. So you are going to. He is going to stay in. All right. So he is definitely Focus Sash. That is for sure. That's going to do a heck of a lot of damage to it. Of course, uh, Selgor is not entirely bulky. Now, what do I think this guy's going to do? What do I think this guy's going to do? Uh, I don't really think he has anything. Him, uh, focus blast? No, 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 no. Spikes, sludge bomb. I feel like he's gonna set up spikes. I feel like he's gonna set up spikes. So, I'm gonna come in with clamps here. Um, of course he can have. Oh, he can have focus blast. He is gonna set up the spikes. So he might not have the focus blast. He is choice scarf. So the focus blast is. I guess maybe if he saw this coming, then it would make a little bit more sense. But. I do just want to set the Stealth Rocks right now. I just- Oh! Final Gambit! Shit! Okay. That is going to do a lot to us. It is going to let us get up our Stealth Rocks, fortunately. Uh, so that's always nice. Of course, he does have the Defogger. Um, so that kind of sucks. But we do have the Rocks up, which is actually a big thing to me last time. Uh, last battle, last week. Is the Stealth Rocks really mess with me. And now I know that Reniculus has Magic Guard. I know that the Tornado's T can come in with a Defog, no problem. Um... But honestly, that's the only thing I really need this Armolder for. I would love to Rapid Spin, but I'm assuming that the Manaphy is going to come in now. And if the Manaphy does come in, it's going to Tail Glow and ruin my day. It really is. 
The Manaphy is going to ruin my day, isn't it? The Manaphy is going to ruin my day. Um, but I, I am happy with the Seldorks up there. Uh, Joey, Joey makes teams and puts the EVs in specifically so he can beat every single one of my Pokemon. So I am a little bit scared about this. Hopefully we can get some good plays going on here. Um, I'm assuming he did watch last week's video, so he might assume that I'm going to be reckless in this because I was very reckless with my Slowbro against the Raikou last time. So I don't know if he's um, kind of expecting me to go for some really strange plays here or not. I also say, there is the Mana Fee, of course. Pretty, pretty easily going to come in here. Now, I am, I'm, I'm really worried about this thing. Now, I'm going to quickly have a look to see how much I can really do to this thing, this, uh, this Mana Fee right here. Uh, I don't... Uh, I need Stone Edge. Stone Edge is my hardest hitting move. All right. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see how much Stone Edge can do. At least. At least see how much Stone Edge it can do. Uh, it can do around half. Now, I'm assuming it's just going to take me out. Uh, I don't really have... I would love to get damage off on this thing. And, of course, the chance for a crit is there. But this thing can be run so many different ways, it's honestly very scary to me. Uh, so I would love to just get damage off on this thing. I'm assuming he's just going to go for the Surf. Not even the Skull, the Surf, straight up. And he's going to take out my Amaldo there, so... That is... I mean, that's alright, that's alright. The only thing I really need the Amaldo here for is the Rocks. And that is my Rapid Spinner gone. Unfortunately, he still has his Defogger. His possible Defogger. Um, let's see. I could come with a Tree Rex. But, of course, there's a possibility that this thing can run Psychic. Um, so honestly, I think that Magnemates is my best switch here. I really, really do. Um, of course, he has the ride on. He has the dug trail, which can fuck me up a little bit. But I feel like Magnemite is the best thing I can do here. Uh, I can come in. I can go for the Volt Switch. If he goes into the dug trio or the uh, whatever else he wants to come in with. Because he does. I do have Hidden Power Grass, but I do have the Flash Cannon. I could straight up go for the Hidden Power Grass here. Um... Looking at his team, he could... Br I, I mean, he doesn't really want to bring the Uniclus. The Uniclus would take some big damage from this. Unless it's Assault Vest, which it might be. I'm assuming that the Defogger is the Tornadus and that the Assault Vest is the Uniclus here. I'm just making some early assumptions. <laughs> but uh, if we see how much a Flash Cannon can do to a defensive Rhydon... A Flash Cannon from a Magneton... Let's see. I am Eviolite. It's going to do around 50%. It's not going to take it out. It's not even going to come close. Um, okay, I am, I'm just gonna go for the Hidden Power Grass. Please switch, please switch, please switch. He might predict the uh, Vault Switch and go into either his Dugtrio or his Rhydon, which is best case scenario. Uh, worst case scenario is he goes into his Uniclus, but of course going into Uniclus is risky because I have the that analytic boost on my Vault Switch, so it will do a lot of damage. Apart from, it might be a Salt Vest, so it might not do a lot of damage actually. So, uh, and the Renoclus does have Focus Blast, of course. You're gonna stay in? Oh, man! Oh, he's, yeah, he, he definitely knows I'm Avial right now. Oh, that sucks. And now he knows I have the HP Grass. Oh, that did a lot more than, oh! Ooh! That did a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, now he cannot kill me here, so he has to switch out. And honestly, even though I just went for the HP Grass, I know HP Grass can take him down. Um, so he's probably really hesitant on going into his Dug Trio or his Rhydon. He'll most likely- I feel like he wants to go to into his, uh, Runiclus here. So I could just Volt Switch. Let's see, let's see, let's see, is that a good play? Is that a good play? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna Volt Switch. I'm gonna Volt Switch this turn. Gotta- gotta keep him on the toes! Alright, he's gonna go for the Surf. Is- I don't- I feel like that's really not gonna take me out here. Unless he gets a crit. We are gonna be able to take out his Manaphy! Oh! What's this? Okay! Okay, okay. Okay, we still took it out. Oh, he had that berry. He had that berry. Ooh, that's slick. That is slick right there. I like it. I like that berry. I like that berry action you got going on there, Joey. I have not seen that, to be honest. Was that, is that one of the, the normal sets? I, I, I think, I feel, I feel like I've seen that. Uh, leftovers. Leftovers. It is one of the normal sets. Okay, that was a tail glow. Oh, tail glow. That would have, oh, that would have messed me up so much. All right. Um, we've gotten rid of his mana fee and his cell gore now. I feel pretty comfortable going into Lancer, or Slowbro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go straight out into a Slowbro. And I'm assuming, um, the Renoclis or the... In fact, I really feel like the Renoclis is gonna come in now. It's unfortunate we're still getting hurt by the spikes, but it's okay, because we do have the leftovers. Uh, we are a really healing up kind of variant of, of, of Slowbro right here. Now, I wonder if I can, uh... Can Slowbro 
take a... That's not Mega Slow, bro. Uh, there's a Tornadus. What are you planning? 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 So you got Tornadus T out here. Um, I'm gonna have to quick look. I'm, I'm sure this is the Life Orb set. Um, can it be run special? I feel it can be... It can be run special. It has knockoff. Okay. Okay, okay. I actually... I feel like, you know, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm just gonna t with this thing. Because he's, he's not switching into a ground type. I'm just gonna t with this thing. He is gonna go for the knockoff. Uh, we should be able to take that really nicely. We are gonna take that super nicely. That is unfortunately gonna get rid of our leftovers, but we do have the regenerate and the slack off to get some more, uh... To get some more recovery there, so that's that's not a huge loss there. Big Bird is gonna be paralyzed, which is fantastic. Now I kinda just want to slack off. Because we are I feel like we're are we gonna outspeed it now. I think we're gonna outspeed it. I think, I think, I think we're gonna outspeed it. So I, I would rather just get I mean, is it really worth going for the slack off? I'm just gonna go for the side shock. I'm gonna go for the side shock. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw. He's not gonna withdraw. Is it what kind of set is this? How much damage is it gonna do? That's gonna do a decent amount of damage there. The hurricane is going to miss. I'm sorry, Joey. Oh man, the hurricane is gonna miss there. Uh, we do outspeed it. I kind of want to go for Scalds in case he goes into Renekliss, but honestly, um, honestly, TBH IMO. I I, I really need to keep Truex. I need to keep my Venusaur alive, obviously, for the uh, the uh, those uh, that Rhydon and that Dugtrio right there. But I'm just gonna. Is <sighs> okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Tornadus is a hurricane. Hurricane's gonna. A hurricane's gonna kill me. A hurricane's gonna kill me. I need to slack off. I need to slack off and hope for that that he miss. Okay, I need to slack. Okay, I need to slack off because I know a hurricane's gonna kill me because I feel like this is life orb. Uh, so if we can get lucky on the paralysis or the hurricane again, oh, he gets paralyzed. Oh, Joey. Oh God. Okay. So he's just gonna sit here and go for hurricanes all the doodah day. Uh, which is, oh man, I, I kind of feel bad, but that is, that is the game, that is the game. You can't really apologize for th something you have no real control over. Uh, I really want to take this thing down. I really want to take this thing down. Another threat gone would be amazing. So I'm going to go for the side shock here. Um, it's going to take it probably really close to death. I'm hoping. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he gets paralyzed. Like, I'm s Joey. I'm so, mmm. Oh man, that, that just sucks. That just sucks. So Big Bird is going to go down. Without actually doing anything. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Um, but that does work out in their favor. Uh, he is going to withdraw. Most likely going to go into the Arena Cliss. I'm um, assuming it's going to be Hard Body. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought that was going to be the ride on for a second there. I was so excited. Oh, no, no, no. But of course it wouldn't be. Of course it wouldn't be. We're going to see if this thing is Assault Vest. I'm assuming that that is. Uh, it, we do think the burn doesn't matter, though, because, of course, it's going to have Magic Guard. Uh, let's see, let's see, Reuniclus, Reuniclus, Reuniclus. Um, where is the Assault Vest set? There is no fucking, you, are you kidding me? No, no Assault Vest, really? 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 I'm gonna have to put that on myself? Really? You making me do this? Okay, okay. Uh, Skull does around maybe 20%, so I'm assuming that the Energy Ball is gonna come my way. I would like to just sack off my Magnemate. Magnemate? <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of unfortunate that we got the burn there. I would have really preferred anything else, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna sack off Magnemate here. And... The battle obviously is not over yet. Uh, there's there's a really good chance he's gonna just destroy me straight up. So I'm gonna sack off my Magnemite here. He's gonna go for the Psychic. Oh, predicting predicting my switch into uh, I don't know actually. I guess that hits everything pretty hard in my team apart from this Lobro. Uh, so th that does make sense. That does make sense. Now if I have a look and see how much Star Raptor, if, how much is Bray Bird gonna do? If I go into Star Raptor and use U-turn. That's gonna do some serious damage. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is uh, he? I'm pretty sure he knows I'm gonna go for the U-turn here, but I have to do it. Like it will give me a little bit of momentum if he does switch out. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do it. You know, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I do like the the blue Reuniclus though. That's pretty cool. Um, it's gonna do around 40. I want to say 45% health. Uh, so looking where he is now, I mean, a couple U-turns would kill it. But, um, I can see the switch into Rhydon coming. And if he does, that would actually be perfect. Because everything that can kind of wall... Yeah, I, I really feel like he's going to go into Rhydon here. I really feel like he's going to go into Rhydon. Aim? 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 There's a Rhydon! Uh, we are going to go straight for the U-turn. 
to get out into our slow bro. And honestly, if we scald with our slow bro, wait. Wait, Rhydon gets, does Rhydon get Mega Horn? Does Rhydon get Mega Horn? Does Rhydon get Mega Horn? Hold on. It does. Oh. That's only going to do around 25. Really? 25? Oh, no. That's that's not to my slow bro. Uh, let's see how much it does to my slow bro. If he is defensive, it's still going to do so much damage. And he is going to outspeed me, obviously. Uh, so I can go into Tree Rex here. Honestly, I can go. Yeah, I can just go into Tree Rex here. I'm going to outspeed him. Um, honestly, his, his Tornadus is essentially gone at this point. Um, so it can't really do anything. It is paralyzed. Uh, I can Mega Evolve right here and safely go for a Giga Drain. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to withdraw. Most likely going to sack off his Tornadus, which is probably the bit. Yeah, he's going to sack off the Tornadus there. Um, oh, he has Regenerator. Oh. Oh, but it doesn't matter because it is going to take all that Stealth Rocks damage. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of Giga Drain damage. And next turn, we should be able to finish him off with a little bit of Sludge Bomb action. So that should be fantastic. Come on, Tree Rex, you can do it. You can do it. We, we brought the bulkiest of the bulk here. And I, I kind of feel bad for doing that, but, like, it's, it is what I drafted. I drafted so much bulk. I drafted so much bulk. All right. Now we're going to hit him up with the Sludge Bomb. And uh, that should be the end of that, I'm assuming. That's going to be the end of the Big Bird right there. That should, yeah. He's going to leave it in. He is going to leave it in to die. Um, now I'm, I'm kind of wondering what's going to come out here. Probably the Reuniclus. Honestly, if I have a look and see how much uh, our Mega Venusaur could actually do to Reuniclus... Because it's not going to take any... Wait, I'll have to watch this. Does it... Is it going to take any Stealth Rock damage? I need to make sure that it's not anything else. I'm pretty sure it's Magic Guard, right? Yeah, of course it's Magic Guard. That wouldn't make sense if it wasn't. <laughs> now, this actually kind of sucks. Because this Reuniclus can do whatever it wants to me right now. But I need to keep my... <sighs> I feel like the switch into Arcanine is super predictable. But honestly, what can a Reuniclus do to me? What can a Reuniclus do to me? If I look, have a look at this moveset, uh, Psychic, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball to an Arcanine, Offensive Arcanine. It's, uh, it's gonna do, it's gonna do so much damage. It's gonna do so much damage. There's no doubt that this thing is Energy Ball either. Okay, I have to go, I have to go into Dogmate. I have to go into Dogmate, I have to go into my Arcanine. Now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get a bit of a Switch War going on here, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of damage from that spikes. Hopefully, we can still take. Oh man, this is gonna suck. This is gonna... this, this reuniclus. This reuniclus is gonna hurt so bad. Oh, oh, we do survive. Okay, okay. I need to get a little bit of damage off on this thing. But he's gonna switch right onto right on. And I, I can't, I can't like come back in with this thing anymore. Oh man, this reuniclus is gonna ruin my day. This reuniclus is gonna ruin me so much. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, the only thing I can really do is crunch. Because that'll hit uh, everything on his team now. For neutral damage. It won't hit the Rhydon for much, but it will do a little bit. A little bit of chip, a little bit of chip, a little bit of chip, a little bit of chips. Right there. So, I guess that's Dece. But, um... Honestly, this Arcanine's gonna go down without having done much. So, that's, that kind of sucks. He's gonna take a little bit of Stealth Rocks damage there. Fantastic! He's going to take a little bit of crunch damage. He's going to see that. Oh, my God. That does nothing. But we do lower the defense, which is kind of nice, I guess. It's, in the long run, not going to help us out a huge amount. But it is kind of nice. Because we're going to get a little more, a little bit more damage off on this guy now. And uh, he is definitely the Aviolite. Oh, now he sets up the stealth. For oh, man. That's good. Because I have no Rapid Spinner. Oh, man. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks for me so much. Unless I can get, like, a crit here and take this thing out right now. Um, not that it would really help me out all that much, but it would be nice. He's gonna get the defense drop again, and he's gonna finish me off with an earthquake. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, can can a U-turn kill this thing? I hope so. I hope a U-turn can... I know this... Uh, I, I did get the defense... Oh, it's not. I, I really don't think a U-turn is gonna kill it. A U-turn is gonna do around... He's got no defensive investments in this one. I'm pretty sure he's got defensive investments. If he's got minus one defense... Oh, uh, no, 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 okay, minus one, mm, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it here, I'm not feeling it here, okay, I'm gonna go into Lancer, 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 Lancelot, okay, okay, I'm pretty sure, do we outspeed the, the Reuniclus here, does the Slowbro outspeed Reuniclus, I really don't feel, I really feel like it shouldn't, but, there's, I guess there's a chance, do they both have, like, base 30 speed, they have, they both have base 30 speed, if he's got a little bit of speed investment, he's gonna outspeed me, that sucks, 
Because I'm pretty sure he is going to have a little bit of speed investment. I'm going to go for the Scald anyway. Uh, he's going to stay in and go for the Earthquake. The best play you could have made there. Um, oh my gosh, that is so much! Wow! Oh my... <laughs> that is so much! Oh, that's kind of scary. So the only thing that has left is his Reuniclus and his Dugtrio. I need to get a bit of damage off on this Reuniclus. He's going to outspeed me though. There's no, I don't feel like there's any way he didn't put a little bit of speed investment, because I didn't. I should have done that. I should have put a little bit of speed investment into my, into my slow bro. Uh, if I paralyzed him before, that would have been perfect, but I'm going to have to let this thing go down, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. This Reuniclus is going to ruin my day. Straight up. Okay. I'm sorry, slow bro. Oh, I, I have speed it? Oh, that, that, little, that little damage. Oh, that little damage is going to be huge. Oh, he trick rooms. Oh, no. No, that's CG. Yeah, that's straight up it. Oh, that trick room. Oh, my. Okay, you know what? I can accept that. He has a Shadow Ball, which is obviously for the slow bro. That's going to take me out there. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. There's no way I could take anything from this thing now. There's no way. Oh, <laughs> Okay. I really just want to get rid of turns of this trick room, but it's never going to wear off. It's never going to wear off. It's never going to wear off. Yeah, this Reuniclus has got me now. He's got me. Ooh, that sucks. Can can a Mega Venusaur possibly take? Uh, oh my god, that sucks. Can I possibly take a Psychic? No, there's no way. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. He's gonna outspeed me every time now. Oh, GG. Damn it. Oh, I had it. Oh my god. I had it for so long if you didn't have that trick room. That's gonna kill my Staraptor there. And uh, when I come in with my Mega Venusaur, it's gonna take me down, so. Oh, that trick room came in clutch. That trick room came in clutch. Oh, I was feeling so good about this too. I was feeling so good. Oh man, no, we're dead. We're done. We're donezo. We're donezo. We're donezo. We're donezo funzo. But, uh, that was a good game. That was a great game. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I'm so upset by that. <laughs> I There was a lot of hacks in my favor. Um, but I will, I will concede that that trick room, that was perfect. Well done, Joey. And of course, if you don't know who he is, definitely check him out. He is an amazing competitive battler, as you just saw. Um, I did have the hacks in my favor, and he still came out with the W, so... I can concede that. That's totally fine. Uh, we are going to be left with two losses, though. But I feel like these uh, first two weeks are just kind of training and waiting for for the, the chances. Um, man, oh, God. That was a good game, Joey. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode of the, the UCL, the episode, whatever. If you enjoyed this UCL battle, be sure to destroy that like button right this video. And if you would like to get yourself a new Castle Zenito King shirt, the link is in the description. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh... And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in week three. Bye.